everyone and welcome to another day in uh, paradise uh, in here in florida t this morning got no huge we well, we're still not sure of the exact plans it's now half past seven we're up just had a lovely sunrise over the lake but it's still rising now and um, we're gonna head for an ihop i think yeah because laura can get some gluten-free pancake cakes in there we do like perkins but there's not too much gluten-free for no, you I is there like so perkins. i'll take laura for an ihop we'll have a coffee then we're going to decide what to do. We've got a reservation at Epcot for it doesn't open until 11 o'clock this morning. So we might just go to Epcot or we might take a different route and maybe go to the outlet malls or we might go to uh, Universal or Islands of Adventure. We've got options. What we might do if we go to Epcot is actually try and park in the boardwalk, have a little wander around the boardwalk and then go in uh, via the World Showcase entrance. So we'll see. We're going to head out now, get some breakfast and see how we feel. Start working out some plans. Yeah, see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to try and take a little bit slower today, I think. Um, yesterday was quite full on, especially Magic Kingdom, very busy. Um, so we're going to get plenty done today, but we're going to try and do it a little bit sort of different, a bit more of a relaxed morning. Uh, I'm not going to get in there for when it opens because it wasn't even, we didn't even get there for when it opens at Animal Kingdom yesterday anyway, did we? No, it was uh, they opened early. So a little bit of a di different sort of day, but we'll take you with us. It's, it's gorgeous out here again, as usual. Very fresh, oh, wait, isn't it? Yeah. Get nice. Very fresh. So let's uh, jump in the uh, the wagon and let's head for an <laughs> IHOP, man. I, can't some I don't know the last time I had an IHOP. We normally do Perkins or the last few times we've done Denny's. Denny's is quite nice. I love Denny's because yeah. they do a big skillet, don't they? Potato yeah, they do and a... sausage and yeah. egg skillet, yeah. We'll try IHOP then. Because they now Today. you said they now do gluten-free. They didn't used to. They do gluten-free pancakes and waffles. There you go then. So we'll just try it for today, see what happens. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm just gonna have some pancakes and bacon anyway. So yeah. it's uh, it's all much of a much. It's all gonna be nice American stuff. So yeah. let's get cracking. So it's lovely and fresh this morning. It's actually currently 11 degrees, which is actually the same as Liverpool right now. It feels warmer. It does feel warmer. I think just because it's blue sky and you just different heat as well, isn't it? the palm trees, different kind of heat. But yeah, it says 11 degrees on the app, and it's actually 11 degrees in Liverpool yeah, at the moment. The so breath. yeah. Loving this car, by the way, the little Nissan Rogue. I think it's the Nissan Rogue Sport. And this was just in the intermediate one. It was like the second one up from the mini size. And for us, absolutely perfect, isn't it? I quite like the higher up seating position than the sedan style ones we were offered. So really like this car. So it's been really nice. And it's barely burned any fuel as well. There's an eco button on it. And um, barely burns anything. So we say it was a, a, a more of a chilled start. It's still only 10 to 7. 10 to 8. 10 to 8, sorry. 10 to 8. We would never be up and out in Tenerife where we live in a million month of Sundays at this time. No, never. Ever. But then, as you said, <laughs> there'll be not an open. Nothing's open this time in the morning. Not an open at this hour. Not even a shop. The shop's not even open this day. Only the corner shop. The call me, it's not open. No. So IHOP is literally just across from where we're staying. Literally just on the 192 right here, you've got Perkins, Denny's. IHOP and Denny's literally right in front of you. It's literally two minutes away. Um, the main thing you wait for is just the lights. Yeah, we're jumping IHOP. Give it a whirl. I might even have, I um, wonder if they do like make maple syrup and bacon pan uh, waffles. Yeah, they will do. Or do I have oh. pancakes now? I haven't had pancakes for a long time. I know. Especially American pancakes. Mm. Pancakes, eggs, bacon, and maybe some potatoes if I can. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> See what happens. Well, 
You know, I said, Laura, do you think it's open? Are we too early? If you look at the sign, it actually says it's open 24 hours a day. That's insane. This is open 24 hours a day. Oh, imagine what you'd, what you'd meet in there at four in the morning. Who goes in at like four in the morning for pancakes? Mental. You'll have to do mental. one day. But I bet you they do get custom now. It's just yeah. mental, isn't it? Imagine, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, oh, I could just eat some pancakes. Hey, to be fair, you know, sometimes you've got pancakes or something. <laughs> and if it's open 24 hours, you're going to go, aren't you? Uh, only in America. These look unbelievable. I'm not going to get them, but the new Winterland is just insane. Look, some really good combos as well, but then they look crazy. I wouldn't get them, but they look crazy. Then the other menu, it's got all your usual bits on. What are you going for, Laura? I'll go for the pancake combo. It's two pancakes, two eggs, two bacon, or pork, sausages, and hash browns. Okay, nice. What do you think I should go for? Oh, so, Laura, <laughs> what is that? Right, okay, so, I'll tell you something. The pepper here is the big, horrible, chunky stuff. Okay. I don't like it. I like so stuff. Laura brings her own black pepper to Florida with her. Have you ever seen anyone do that before? <laughs> Comment below if you've ever done that before. There's going to be no comments on this video. Look, it's like taped up on everything. Like this is all the way from Tenerife. Get, I can't get a new one. Yeah, not in the shop. So well, I can even, use the normal one. Even got, like, this is from Lock Arona, Tenerife. This isn't even. This is all the way from Tenerife to IHOP. I like the pepper. Like you know what I mean. Unbelievable. So this is a different type of American coffee to your usual Starbucks latte, isn't it? It is, It's yeah. in the big pot kettle. This isn't my most favorite. You quite like it, don't you, Laura? I love the perfumes on. Let's see what this one tastes like. I'm more of a Starbucks caramel latte kind of guy. So that brewed coffee is not for me, I'm afraid. Uh, you're not too mega on it, are you, Laura? It's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's just it's the it's brewed coffee, isn't it? Rather than they make it differently to like a. So we'll probably stop at a Starbucks along the way somewhere. I'll get a Starbucks at some point today because that's not quite gonna. I'm not quite fussed on that. I'm afraid. No. Here we go. Proper American breakfast here. The pancakes with the blob of butter. Oh yeah, it looks good. Laura's gluten free. Those pancakes look they good, gluten free. Amazing, yeah. You got your crispy potatoes, eggs. Oh, you're gonna enjoy that, aren't you, Laura? They do their hash browns so differently. They're all sort of loose, but so nice. They are gorgeous. Really, really nice. Them. Laura, got your uh, got your special pepper on there, have you? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to cover them in maple syrup in a minute. But I do yeah, like yeah, the hash browns, how yeah, different they are. So that is very quick. It's still only quarter to nine. So we've got a couple of hours to uh, do some other things. We're going to have a quick look in this gift shop since we're here. Then we're going to head over to Boardwalk. I'm probably going to get a Starbucks because it wasn't my favourite type of coffee. I wouldn't say it was horrible coffee. It's just not my type of coffee. Yeah. They like to do that brewed sort of coffee style. Oh, exit only. I'm going to go around the front. Have a look in this uh, cheap gift shop. Not sure all of these items are genuine Disney, but there you go. Give it away. There's loads of them. They are good fun to have a look around. You never know. You can find something decent for someone. Yeah.
So we've just pulled in to um, literally just opposite IHOP is a brand new Starbucks just on the end of uh, North Lake Wilson Road. So we're going to uh, pop in here. They've got a bit of seating outside or you can do the drive through, but we're not in that much of a rush. I don't mind parking and uh, have a look. The situation as well, I've noticed, again, a lot of jobs going here. Uh, IHOP were looking, the gift shop next to IHOP were looking, and there's a sign here saying now recruiting as well. So it looks like a similar situation to us in Tenerife. Loads of the service industry looking for work, uh, looking for people to hire. This is a brand new Starbucks. We uh, didn't even know this was getting built. When we left last time, they got the nice new Walmart, but this wasn't here. This is brand new. It looks lovely as they all do. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, it's a sign. Free gift to Starbucks customers. I don't know whether you can see that. Free gift at the gift shop for Starbucks customers so Ooh. it's just trying to get you in the gift shop from Ooh. Starbucks so in free gift it'll be, it'll be a key like, ring. not even a key ring yeah you know, a like a, yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll have a look in the gift shop anyway we've got a little bit of time this morning nice to take a bit more of a relaxed morning and not be in a theme park at like 8, 9 yeah, in the morning yeah we love the theme parks but they are exhausting aren't they? they're exhausting at the, and at the moment to get anything done you've got to be there for when they open so um, it does get quite tiring after a while be in there when it opens and that's why it's important to take those little afternoon breaks but nice if, if you come in and you're going to do all the parks i would just take one morning off just take a morning off just to have yeah. a relaxed morning go for a breakfast have a bit of a lie-in because it will Catch get on up. it'll get on top of you especially big time. with the jet lag the jet lag is just taking everything in you're getting all kinds of stimulation you're not just walking around you you need a lot more food than what you would normally so you're getting a bit heavier on, on your feet and you're getting a bit stodgier aren't you yeah you're feeling that the amount of food you're eating as well yeah Maybe they just got really, really excited. Maybe. Yeah. So much coffee in it. So we've just found our new decoration. It's a little gift bag that is. I like that with everything on it. Yeah. yeah. It's nice that it's in the bag. The last one left. Grabbing it. Yeah, so that'll be cute on our Christmas tree. It is lovely just sitting here on the big comfy sofas, just chilling, waiting for our coffee. Gorgeous day outside, watching the traffic go by. It's a nice location, this one. It's uh, nice, isn't it, Laura? Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, you've got business people, you've got people working. It's nice, nice. I'm excited for me double caramel latte in a minute and we got that nice decoration as well made up with that that was they had really nice ones for each park on like the starbucks cups but you can't just get one you're gonna have to get all four and that would cost a fortune but i love that florida one that's the same design that's on our mug isn't it yeah, yeah. I like that one in the bag it's nice just having a bit of a slower morning i'm enjoying just sitting here for a minute it's, uh, you forget how fast paced it is out here so fast. I think we're stuck in the Tenerife ways, Laura. <laughs> oh, what have you got there? Uh, me 10 pumps caramel latte. <laughs> naughty. That's very naughty. Naughty but nice. I mean, you did get me a large as well. I didn't order, you did. You got me a grande. Grande Aventi. Well, you might like a Venti. Well, I'll set up for the day, won't I? I'll be buzzing. <laughs> set, up, I? set up for the week with that. I'll climbing the Epcot ball on this race.
So we're just here parked in the boardwalk now and uh, you see the gondolas right above us. I didn't realise, to me in the sun, it looks like it's the wires that move, not the actual carts, if you understand me. I always thought there was sort of wheels on the carts to push them along the wires. But it's the actual wires that move, isn't it? I didn't realise that until you see it in the sun in person. It's, uh, it's just paused, now it's resumed there now. So we will take a ride on them at some point. Take the sky, maybe even today, who knows what's gonna happen, Laura. Who knows, you've got your new Disney top on. That was on sale, that as well, in Tenerife, wasn't it? Yeah. It's nice, that one. So we're going to head into the boardwalk. This is a gorgeous uh, place, the boardwalk. <laughs> it's got quite a few resorts on here, Swan and Dolphin. These um, are the top-tier resort. Top-tier resort. It's lovely. Wait till you see it if you've not been before. It is lovely through the back. They have quite a lot of weddings here as well. And then, lovely, one of our favourite shops. We call it the Wyland Shop. They've got an art shop here with the jewellery in it and it's it's a really nice shop you've had stuff from there before haven't you yeah i've got a wild tail necklace yeah mum um, my sisters they've all had stuff from the, the wild and shop jewelry wise we always drool over the art but it's always a bit too expensive isn't it <laughs> so our usual entrance is closed these stairways they're uh, doing a bit of work on them down there so we've got to go in through another way. I think we can go through this way, the boardwalk in. Lovely in here, best put a mask on. So, um, someone forgot his mask. There he is. <laughs> so, it's have to wait till you for him to go all the way back to the car and then come all the way back. It's a good job. It's nice and sunny. Let's find them. See if I can. You all right now? Crisis oh, averted. <laughs> oh, very handsome. Thought I'd left them. <laughs> so, heading into the ball walking now. It does smell, you get hit by a smell when you walk in here. Nice. Oh, that's a nice smell. Oh, look at the decorations as well. Wow. Very grand. Lovely, isn't it? For a lobby, lovely. So we absolutely love it in here for the artwork and stuff. It is amazing in here. Sculptures, paintings. I could have so much art from here, but as you can imagine, it is not cheap stuff, but just really unique stuff from Wyland, mixing Disney with his usual stuff with dolphins and whales and sea life. Laura loves these tables. I don't think our apartment is quite grand enough for something like that. And I don't think my bank budget is big enough either. Mum and Dad love it in here as well. Just lovely stuff like that is stunning. With the manatees. Now, my dad is a big fan of these. These are called All Dogs Go to Heaven. You can see the dogs in the waves and dog on the beach and things. That's the stairway to heaven, that one going all the way up and you can get them with your dog and his name on but my mum isn't too keen on that yeah but my dad does love one of them this one is of the boardwalk of an evening and then some of these sunset ones like that is gorgeous with the sunset, Mickey and Minnie kissing in the clouds. You see that, Laura? Oh, yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Ooh, I like these, Laura, where they look like you're looking out of windows. Oh, now you remember, we came in last like time these. and we didn't have to, but when we went to Key West, they had to, ah, yeah, so the man had bought the, the whole. The man had bought the whole collection last time we were here of these window ones. Yeah. He bought everything. It's all stunning in here. One day, Laura, when we come back, we'll be rich enough to afford one. These are all hand painted. Enjoyed that look in the Wyland store. Some gorgeous stuff. That Halloween one was a particular favorite. Just soaking in the atmosphere now of the boardwalk. Beautiful morning down here. Water is really clear too. This is a really good um, store as well, the general store. You can get a nice look at most of the merchandise in quite a bit of peace. It's never that busy in there. So we'll probably check it out in there and then we'll be heading over to the Epcot entrance at World Showcase just further down. They've got the bakery and things here as well. It's just a lovely area. We've been here a few times and caught the boat across to Hollywood Studios as well. But it's a different sort of vibe. We've also done a few things. We've done the, the little bike things that go around as well, yeah. haven't we? <laughs> I remember as a kid, we've rented the boats as well. Do you remember when we on the bike? Uh, it was four of us on the bike and we couldn't go up the hill. Yeah, it was four of us <laughs> on it, including my mum and dad. We got round. There's a little bit of a slope there, as you can see in the corner. And it, yeah, it was a bit of a... Uh, it was a bit of a push to get ourselves back around, wasn't it? Yeah, people have to help us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a, a quick look in the merch store here and then we'll head across to Epcot. What have you found, Laura? The cup. Is this the one? Yeah. See through, what's it say? I'm going to bed after this. this is that is normally what you say with your cup of tea as well. That is your <laughs> saying, going to bed after this. Once I've had my cup of tea, I'm going to bed. That is exactly what you say as well. Yeah, that's, so I think that's, that's the one for you, I think. Yeah, and Yeah, we might get that later on then. We're not going to get it now and carry it around Epcot, but okay. we can pick it up on the way out maybe. Yeah, I don't want it. On the way home, because I've not seen that one yet either. No, You can see how much quieter it is in here. It's just so nice. You can walk around and look at things properly in peace. Yeah, Some things in here nice. that I've not seen yet, like these. These are actually sort of 3D feel as well. Nice then. Water cups, sort of retro style. But yeah, you can look at everything properly without, you know, being bombarded. And they do have exclusive boardwalk merch as well in here. So you can find things as well that are not in the other stores, like this. Oh, that's nice. And that. It's nice. I like this as well, but um, you know, it feels amazing, looks amazing. What's the price though, Laura? I know what the price is going to be. Oh, a lot more than I thought. $130 plus tax. You're looking at $150 there. Lot Lovely lot shirt, but it is Tommy Bahama, so it's expensive. These are good as well. The um, door handle openers. Especially during these times, quite good. We should have one of them, really. All your hand sanitizer holders as well. And of course, all your key rings. I'm sure Laura will be picking one of these at some point too. Look at it all over the jewelry as always. We've got some beautiful jewelry there. Have they? The diamond moving these. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's not bad for $25, no. is it? That's stunning. Uh, so you're spending some money in here later, Laura. <laughs> here we go. I want, I'm having. That right there. I want some having. So that was an instant decision, wasn't it? Yeah. And you saw it for two seconds. Oh, but it's got the feelings to match, I'm having. Okay, you get them. Yeah. There you go. Only cheap. So these, see these ears, I've not seen these in any other park or any of the stores yet either. Some of these, I've not seen them either. Yeah, I've seen them. I've not seen, seen them. Uh, oh, yeah, I've not seen that. Whatever that is. But I've definitely not seen them either, the America ones, the new version. 
So this is, I do, you can see now why I like this shop. You can just look at things in a bit more depth. Oh, here we go. What books are they? Just a notebook. When are you going to write notes in that? How much is that? Only th only thirty five, so only forty dollars, and only weighs about twenty kilos to take home. You can put it in the maybe pile. <laughs> Some of these uh, pins are really good, like the golf one here with the fluff for the grass and the golf ball. Um, I like that one, Epcot. I like the balloon. It's good. There's some exclusive stuff. Boardwalk up there. They are really good. I love the shop because you just see it. I know you can see everything mm -hmm. properly without getting barged and, and it's quiet. Yeah. Oh that's so good. Oh, that's a good uh, up one. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Some uh, really nice stuff. Respect the bow, see yeah, that's why I put my ears on before, so you'd respect me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've not seen any of that in other stores either. And here, just because the NBA experience is further down, if you're into basketball, how good is this bag that is like a basketball? If you're into that, really good. Great design. So I really enjoyed that look in that shop. We're going to go back there later and pick up Laura's uh, glass and earrings and necklace and book. And yeah, spend about $500. <laughs> Is, you can hear quite a bit of noise, but it's normally lovely and peaceful down here. Yeah, it's a, outside, it be peaceful. Yeah. It's about half ten. Um, uh, we're going to start heading in. Epcot opens at 11, as I mentioned, so we've got half an hour to wander in. And then we'll go straight to one of the popular rides, Soaring or something like that. Spaceship Earth, Test Track. Whether we'll get Remy's Ratatouille done today, probably not. Probably not, no. But if we don't do it, we don't do it. But the one thing we definitely want to do before we go is the Rise of the Resistance, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the one thing we want to do. Yeah. So we'll catch you when we're a little bit closer and you'll, uh, we'll give you some views along the way. We've got the Boardwalk Bakery coming up, which is uh, very popular as well. Now, we're not getting married, but if I was, I'd be pretty oh, yeah. tempted for something like that. That is a wedding pavilion there. And I've seen people getting married before. There is a private event, so they're preparing for one today. What a stunning place and a stunning backdrop there is a big to tie the knot. There is a wedding pavilion in here as well. It's a building. It's on the other yep. side, isn't it? I think that's where they go after they do the ceremony here by the lake. But uh, if you want to price up a, a Disney wedding, have a little look online. <laughs> Dead cheap. It's just like going to Vegas, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, oh. nice and cheap. Now, the other big beauty of coming in this way, obviously not everyone's going to be able to do this, but when you do have the benefit of coming through the boardwalk, it's lovely and quiet. Walks, Quiet, calm, it's a lovely walk with scenery. You're not just walking through a car park. And you've got the Skyliner right there if you want to jump on the Skyliner to some of the other resorts. I can see Ratatouille from here. Oh, it's going to be a good day. I can sense it's going to be a good day. I think it's going to be a lot calmer in here the than Magic the Magic Kingdom. Kingdom last night. Nothing can be worse than the Magic Kingdom last night. For us, just too busy. Put me off right too off busy there, as put us off going back to Magic Kingdom. I'm sure we will, but it's not. I mean, we used to pop into Magic Kingdom just to see the fireworks and stuff, but that last night was just chaos. Yeah. Chaos, and a little bit much, probably coming out of the pandemic feels a lot worse than it was. It doesn't if you have like sort of anxiety issues or you're claustrophobic, yeah. you're really yeah. not going to And of course, because it's the end of the day and people have been there since eight and they've been on their feet for like 12 hours. Everyone's, everyone's cranky, everyone's grouchy, everyone's short tempered. <laughs> You know, you nudge someone, it's like, hey, get off me. And yeah, it gets a little bit feisty in there. Look at this for a view though, wow.
We're trying to stick to the general rule that most people go to the right. So we're going to go to the left. That's the theory is that everyone is instinct is to go to the right. So we go to the left. I think it'll work. <laughs> we'll probably save about two people. We're in slightly early. This left line is for if you're staying at one of the resorts, which we're not. So we're in the right hand side line and at 11 o'clock we'll be allowed to go through and we're going to go straight to soaring so we will get a bit of a head start on everyone these are all people staying in the resorts they get an extra half an hour uh, early entry obviously it does encourage you to stay in the resorts but what a really nice place to wait i suppose under the shade of a tree nice views music on can't complain a lot as well. yeah and the wait times at the moment are really not bad at all test track is already up to a 90 minute wait uh, but soaring 10 minutes spaceship earth five minutes yeah everyone goes to test track don't they yeah That's for some reason one. test track. i mean i prefer the old classic test track to the new one i used to like it when you'd have all like you know the hot room and the spray machine and things i used to like the old classic one but the new one's good but well, i prefer the old one me you never did the old one did you no i never just saying or raving on about them got there yeah it was all modernized and yeah, yeah. So I've just um, been looking at um, Spoonful of Sugar's Instagram. They're here at the same time as us. Uh, they also vlog Florida all the time. We watch them a lot. Hoping to bump into them at some point. Uh, but they're also here today and they're coming into the front entrance. And I've just seen a picture on their Instagram of the crowd. And now I'm like, we better get moving. It looks like there's a lot of people heading in because we entered sort of the back of the park or to the side, not the main entrance. It was quite quiet. But from the picture I've just seen on their Instagram, I think it's going to be a busy day. So Laura, joy to the world, there is joy saying hello. Obviously you can't have the characters like a meet and greet, but they are there. Socially distanced and uh, having fun. Laura, why aren't you that happy of a morning? <laughs> Another one of our classic favourites, Laura. Soaring. Even the technology and stuff isn't even as good as Avatar, but it's still, I think, just as good as Avatar, just for the classic feels of it. So I did just mention them a minute ago, and we have actually bumped into them finally. This is Spoonful of Sugar. I'm going to leave the link in the description for your channel as well. We do watch it. We love your enthusiasm. <laughs> you like make us dead excited at home all the time. Disney, you got to be excited. Yeah. <laughs> How many times a year do you normally come? Uh, two or three usually. Two or three, time. yeah. So they've got loads of Florida vlogs. There'll be loads coming up from this trip as well, I'm sure. Yeah. So uh, make sure you go and subscribe to them. This is way too busy. I think it's 80 minutes. So we're probably going to head to Spaceship Earth, I think, Laura. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just been stood chatting with them. Spoonful of sugar there for a while. They're absolutely lovely couple lovely couple you just lose track of time we've stood there for about 20 minutes but what a lovely place to meet as well right in front of the sign got a couple of nice pictures and stuff um as i said i'll leave all the stuff in the description for them we've been watching them for years um really good channel that really good channel they're the first florida vloggers we've ever met it's crazy surreal so they've headed that way we're gonna head towards i think spaceship earth uh maybe do that it is very busy uh 80 minutes already for soaring but it should drop down again but yeah. just as they said just enjoy it soak in the atmosphere and enjoy the sunshine it's a gorgeous day beautiful day gorgeous and here's the monorail now it's like it so we're heading towards spaceship earth a lot of construction walls around this park barely recognize it with all the construction going on but you can't miss that big beautiful ball 
So we're going to be going in there, hopefully, if the line isn't too long. And then we have got a, um, we've just got a pass for test track in about 35 minutes, 40 minutes or so. But I mean, look at the line already. I think it's going to be a busy day. But if it is, we're just soaking the atmosphere, do what we can. As I said, we've got a pass for test track shortly, so we shall enjoy. So as I said, going to be a busy day. Look at this queue already for Spaceship Earth. We won't be waiting in that. So we're just going to wander around, soak in the atmosphere. We're going to have a look at this new monument out front that we've not seen before. And then we'll wait for our little test track slot, see what we can do after. Even with the construction walls, it's still lovely. I mean, you can't beat this weather. It is a gorgeous day. Laura's just saying she actually prefers this sort of temperature compared to September when we normally come. September feels... now, you'd be melting with the humidity. Yeah, this feels like a British summer's day. It is a great, uh, great day for the weather. Mission space here. Not sure how long the wait is for that. We did try and get into the um, Space 220 restaurants. Oh, about a week or so ago, all the reservations were well gone. Well gone for that restaurant. It looks amazing. I can't wait to take my dad there. He's a massive space NASA fan and everything. Yeah, we tried to get in. No chance. So we'll ask see if we can get in, but all the reservations were gone for basically the whole of November and December when we looked. Take a look in the creation shop while we uh, kill about 15 minutes before we go on test track we do uh, we did used to love mouse gear so we'll take a look in this new one hopefully, hopefully it will be i'm sure there'll be some things for you to spend your money on laura <laughs> like there isn't already enough yeah they have got some ears here for the pass holders that uh, we've not seen yet but you think you can only buy them if you're a pass holder laura and you have these black leather ones. Just looking at these little remote control Remy's, the cat would go mad for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you drive the cat insane, you break it in two minutes. These are nice if you're a Ratatouille fan. Nice little uh, ears there. You've got the full hat. Now this. I've got when you turn it on, Remy. Ah, uh, Remy pops up, doesn't he? Well, you can't wear that. You're not. A, you're not a very good cook. <laughs> Some nice uh, ratatouille merch here. It's something else here, like a keychain. It's good. The uh, the um, virtual queue line for Remy ratatouille closed within about two minutes of opening ah there you go you can see them inside it comes out as well uh, they're going to release some more return times at one o'clock but i doubt we're going to get on that uh but yeah all the return times were gone within about two minutes okay here we go then test track let's uh test some cars hey eh, laura yeah no quite a bit about them so change of plans we got to the front of uh test track well just as we we're about to start the queue which was Good luck really it went down so uh, we've just been and swapped um the pass that we got for um soaring now instead yeah. you can always just go to the blue experience team and ask them we just said you know been in an hour and a half now we've done nothing um and she was dead helpful and she's managed to get us on soaring instead for straight away so i uh, do always ask it was a shame but literally as we got to the queue they announced that it was down and didn't know when it would be back on. Always the way with test track, so soaring it is. This was more of a priority for us anyway. Hello and welcome to Soarin'. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. 
We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. What's in the undersea compartment? This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Nice work, pal. Just as good as ever, eh, Laura? Amazing. Smells yeah. were just as good as always. I did record it on the GoPro as well, whether the footage was any good or not, but uh, just as good. Yeah. Yeah. Such a good classic. The smells when you go over the Africa with the grass and when you go over, over Fiji. that little Fiji, oh, the smells. And it's so popular, loads of people sell candles from it, don't they? Yeah. Uh, we love them. We've been through them all. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a few of Yankee ones that come quite close to the Fiji, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we'll head out now and we'll uh, see what's going to be next on the list. Let's see what we're going to do. We might go back to Space 220, see if we can get in there see what's going on so we tried to get one of uh, the whoopie pies uh, and unfortunately they don't do them anymore I don't know whether it's just in that location she said no I think they've replaced it with the 50th anniversary cake so maybe it'll come back afterwards but there was none in there that's for sure we'll keep an eye out for it a bit gutted hey hope we're gonna head over to spaceship earth now and then we'll go and see what space 220 is like see if we can get in the standby line for that yeah. see if we can get in if not what I might try and do is try and make an advanced reservation for the lounge um, for the next visit next week or something see if we can make an advanced yeah. reservation sure. if it's too long today we'll see see how we get on but yeah Gus is about the whoopie pie I know hopefully they bring that back they've got like a chocolate anniversary cake but it doesn't look as good as the whoopie pie I love the red velvet yeah red velvet whoopie pie nice Just on Spaceship Earth, I think that's the last time we're going to see it as it is. I think so, yeah, we'll be very soon. It, not, not all of it worked, they didn't put the little faces on the little video and stuff. Yeah, but it's good. It's a, it's a nice break, you just get to sit and chill on it for yeah. kind of 15 minutes. going to go over to Space 220 now, see if we can get in. Um, if not, we'll have to go and make the reservation for another day, we'll see. Yeah, see what happens. So the standby line for that now is an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. So we're not going to wait that long, but he has allowed us to make a reservation for six o'clock tonight. So we just turn up, yeah, which six o'clock, straight app. in. You cannot do it on the app. You have to go up, ask him nicely, and he takes you through. And we're in for six o'clock. So yeah. looking forward to that. I didn't think we were going to get to do it, but we are. I know, excited. It's going to be, it's meant to be amazing in there. Uh, so we'll have a good look at the menu later. Um, so we pretty much know what we're going to have when we come in. Yeah. So for now, I think we're just going to have a little bit more of a mooch and see what happens. Yeah. We'll uh, keep you updated. So we're going to queue up for Club Cool now, bit of a uh, classic, we're going to try some of these awful drinks, these are going to make me feel sick I think some of these Laura, they you are. try and fit, you can try them first, they've got loads of cool coke merch in there as well so we'll have a little mooch around. So they've got the special one in here where they can but you shake the power, it turns it into slush. You, you can take it off the fridge and put it on to the salt and it turns it into slush. So do we need to get a bottle of it now? No, you buy it. Ooh, okay. I'm going to have a ooh, Powerade slush will do me. Yeah. Hey, here we go. Laura's going to give these a try. Ooh. Apparently the Beverly and this one is meant to be the worst, the China one. So try Beverly first. Let's try a bit of Beverly. I'll try it with you. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it's very bitter. Oh, yeah, it's like medicine. Oh, no. No. Okay, next, Madagascar. Oh, no, that Beverly's awful. I feel okay. sick. Oh, yeah, that Beverly's rough. That is like you've been... It's like the aftertaste after being sick. It's like stomach acid, that Beverly. It's better. I'll keep that to the side so we can finish that one. Okay, country club. Yep, Dominican. It does label them all on the top there, what they are. Tastes like yeah, quite nice. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Like iron oh yeah, it's my favourite so far. Yeah, that'll do me. Let's put these in the bin. Keep that there. Okay, we're gonna go for the royal watermelon now. That's finished. This one. Watermelon from the Philippines. Is it? I like that actually. Mm. It's not too watermelon-y. Yeah, quite, yeah. It's not, dead, not super so sweet. Okay, I'm still country clubbing. Next. Okay, this one is meant to be horrendous. This China one. <laughs> Come on. It is beefy. It's like beef crisps or something. Come on, give it a whirl. Come on. Tastes like hot dog water. Oh no, no. How do people drink that? Sour plum flavour. Oh, it's like drinking. Dirty hot dog water. Like the juice after you've cooked a joint of beef. Oh, right, let's try some Russian Sprite, which is cucumber flavour by the looks of it. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, got, got one more to try, the Viva. Yeah, it's alright, it's a bit tasteless. Okay. On the next one. The last one. The Viva. Raspberry. Nice. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. Favourite. Vida, I'm, I'm quite country club. Quite like that. Okay. We'll let someone else have a go. We're going to go over here now and buy one of the um, slush drinks. I think there's a Powerade one in here. That was nice and refreshing. Nice them, took a while to eat as well. Nice just sitting in the sun. Test track time now, and then I think we'll be going home for a little bit of a break. Like going chill in the pool and the hot tub and stuff. We're gonna do test track first. So well, this is our final design for the test track. There you go, very nice. Going for electric. We'll see what results we get. Two. So, uh, really good trip on Test Track Lore. We're um, stuck sideways <laughs> on the bit you're meant to be going really fast. We're literally just stuck. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fall on top of you. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Laura jinxed this because you said earlier that it didn't sound very good. It didn't. Okay. Well, now we're stuck on a slant <laughs> on the curve <laughs> on the bit that you're meant to be going really fast. So, not the best ride on test track. Uh, stuck on the slant. Eventually got going again. They offered us a re ride. We said no, leave it. 
Uh, so we're gonna head out now. It's just not been quite our luck here today, but still been all right. They're gonna head out now for a little bit of a break and then we'll be back later for our Space 220 uh, dinner, which I'm excited for. But for now, gonna go and have a little bit of a break, a little bit of a swim, just maybe a chill in the hot tub or something. And then we'll come back. Yeah, nice, nice break. Gotta have a break at some point and then uh, get out of the madness. <laughs> So we are literally just back, chilling in the villa, having a lovely time in the hot tub. Laura's even just brought me a key lime pie. Oh, that looks good, Laura. Gimme, gimme. Oh, look, amazing. I've literally just, I've answered a few work emails. I'm still answering work regarding car rentals in Tenerife. Still doing that from here. It's weird because of the time difference as well. Uh, like in Tenerife, it's, everything's closed and done and it's dark and it's like, half past eight at night. I'm just here enjoying a key lime pie in a hot tub in the sun, loving life. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. Oh, the key lime pie looks good. Let me show you the view we've got. So fast forward an hour and we're back. We're back down near the boardwalk, heading into Epcot for Space 220. Really looking forward to that. We had a lovely little hour and a half, two hours, just chilled, yeah, went in the hot tub. Had a nice key lime pie by the pool. Uh, had a nice shower, feel nice and fresh now, come out for dinner. Really, really nice to have that break away from the parks. And even though you're, I was like, oh, we've only got two or three hours, but it was ample enough time. With the, where we're staying as well, being so close, it was plenty of time in the end. We were, uh, we were ready early, weren't we? I need to get back to the park. To come mask. back. Oh, Laura's forgotten her mask. I'll just quickly show them your new outfit before you go. It's a new Walt Disney World tracksuit. Nice, because oh, you were a bit chilly ago. last night, weren't you? Breeze are last night, yeah. yeah. So, it's just as busy as when we left, if not busier, I think. Seems to be busier. Everyone's been able to park up since 2 o'clock. We're going to go straight to uh, Space 220. We're not interested in any more rides in here tonight, I don't think. Straight to uh, dinner. Really excited for it. Even Laura excited, aren't you? Yeah. I quite like my space stuff, my dad loves it, it's where it's all come from. I know he's going to love it when he, when we bring him back. Uh, it's a shame it's his birthday today as well, so I would have loved to have brought him tonight, but we'll uh, go and try it out, get in there. Can't say no to a reservation at last minute, which is what they offered us, so I'm excited. And I think, I'm pretty sure, I didn't look at the menu like I was supposed to, I'm pretty sure there's chicken and waffles. Be nice. They do stuff that's like space themed. Yeah, well, there's a cocktail or two that I want to try. Oh, hey, cocktails. Oh, no, see, no more rides now. Cocktails have been mentioned.
Once we go, gather your belongings and exit through the open airlock. A Space 220 agent will be waiting for you. We're docking, guys. We're docking. Thank you, you. We're good. So right out this way is going to be our view for today. We are 220 miles above Epcot. Wow. So we are in low space orbit with the ISS station as well as many satellites. This is amazing, isn't it? That was a ride in itself coming up, as you said. Yeah, we've got a board pass and everything. Really good fun, that, coming up. Yeah. Really clever, the way they've done it. Um, I think you do have to have a, a sort of different type of reservation to be right down on the front. But we can still wander down and have a look. But you're right above, I think she said 250 miles above Epcot. So cool. I do feel like we're not, you know, we're, we're in space almost. Very yeah, and I love the black knives and forks, Laura. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Laura has got what cocktail is this? It is the planetary punch, Bacardi Silver, Malibu, Blue Caracu, Guava, Coconut. Oh, nice. So you'll notice we've moved to the bar. Now there is a bit of a story with that. Um, the guy this morning said we're going to be in the lounge, which is what I wanted because that's where my chicken and waffles are. There was nothing on the big full menu that I was going to really eat. But then they sat us in the main restaurant, but that you couldn't order from the lounge menu if you were in the restaurant. So we've switched to uh, the lounge. Uh, which is what we wanted because I wanted the chicken wa chicken and waffles. I'd have happily paid, it was $80 for three courses, which yeah. was not an issue, but there just wasn't really anything I was fancying so much. There was no starters either of us would have had. And I was really looking forward to chicken and waffles because the guy downstairs did say the lounge. But uh, no, it's all good. We are very happy here. We've got a lovely view of the restaurant. It's, the view's just as good. Chairs are just as comfy. So yeah. Well, uh, I've got my Sprite there and some ice water and we're going to get ordering. You can order here from the main menu as well though. Yeah, so you couldn't sit in the main restaurant and order the lounge food, but you can sit in the lounge and order the main restaurant food if you want to. Bit confusing, but you can get whatever you want if you're sitting in the lounge basically. The barman was just saying you can see it at, every night at sunset, you can see the earth is slowly going dark across you can see it's daylight on the left hand side and it's night time on the right so this does constantly change really cool you can see it's starting to get dark further and further as it goes across amazing so clever So if you watch the screen, every now and then little things come up like this this astronaut here with what looks like a dog in space. <laughs> it's like a man and a dog, yeah. So every now and then something will come along, there's like a spaceship docking and things will come along. It's stuff to watch. Here is Laura's Mozzarella starter. Oh, nice. You'll like that mozzarella. Nice. And I've got here my chicken and syrup on the waffles. Looks good. Looks like buttermilk tenders.
so that was absolutely brilliant uh, very expensive but as a one-off we never eaten disney before um it was worth it once in a lifetime yeah once you've done it i'd say you ticked it off but the food you said was nice the steak Beautiful. chicken and waffles was good expensive for what it was but you're going to pay that price to go in anything like that in disney yeah. um most expensive chips i've ever had in my life <laughs> nine dollars plus tax but it was a bit of a treat um and i did want to experience it i will take dad up even if he doesn't fancy the food we'll take him up for a drink or something you can just go up for a drink but again you're going to pay the price but it is something different and it's disney isn't it yes yeah, but special, you yeah. love the steak yeah. said it was amazing it was nothing like Tenerife steak at all was it no you said it was different yeah. and in the end we sort of shared hair dessert it was nice, wasn't it? Beautiful the chocolate. Yeah, it's nice touches and it was very nice up there. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into the presentation, into the theme yeah. of it. It was a ride going up, a ride coming down. So. Yeah, it's just good fun. Really yeah. good fun. If that's something you're going to be interested in, I'd do it. But just be aware, you know, you're going to pay the price. Yeah. Um, and we, we knew we were going to pay the price and that'll be our one sort of Disney fancy meal We're eating for this the rest trip. of the holiday We're eating now. now. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> Shreddies tomorrow. A couple of Cheerios. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you the Epcot ball. We've oh, not seen it, but I can see it from here. They've added all lights to it for the 50th anniversary, and it looks amazing. Okay, so it's soaring time again. We've just used the lightning lane. We're on it. Let's uh, have another little ride since it is a little bit quieter. Then we're going to go and jump on the Skyliner. A, just for a ride on the Skyliner. And then I think we're going to jump off at Hollywood Studios. And even if we just watch the um, evening show on the Tower of Terror, the projections thing or something. Yeah, I think that's all we're aiming to do. Yeah. Anything else is a bonus. Anything else is a bonus. See what the wait times are, but... Uh, we'll see, see what happens. Another good ride on there, uh, soaring. Never gets old, never gets old. So we're gonna try something new now, and we're gonna go on the Skyliner, even if it's just for a ride. We'll go up to Hollywood Studios, even if we get off to come back, come back again. It'll be a nice little chilled ride, sit on it. It'll be nice and cool now as well, on there. Yeah, try it out, it's never yeah, done it. I know, when we last seen we were getting built with yeah, they're all, they were literally, they started running them the day we left. <laughs> so we really missed out. And then the day, at, the day after we left, I think it was, they had that little incident where a couple of them crashed into each other. Oh, yeah. I remember that. So we'll do that. And then we're going to go to Boardwalk and pick up your bits. Yeah, the uh, mug that she spotted and the jewellery. Spotted and everything, so I need to... Definitely getting the mug, 100% getting the mug. We always get a mug. We always get a couple yeah. of mugs normally. Yeah. So thing else yeah. Okay, so we will uh, catch you on the Skyliner. Yeah. So this is where we're heading to the Skyliners and we've never done it. I'm excited. I think we'll get one covered, Laura, one non-covered. What character will we get? Oh. Oh, it's going to be exciting riding it in the dark as well. A whole new viewpoint from up there. I'm excited to try them now. I know. Ooh, Pluto. I like Pluto. Oh, I like Pluto. Little Pluto would do me. It's like a whole new ride, Laura. Yeah. I know. Can not stop with the rides, are we? <laughs> you watch, we'll end up on the wrong one or something now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're on a clear one, which is great for filming. That's oh, nice, isn't it? You get a cabin to yourself as well for COVID reasons. Yeah, it's really, really big. It is bigger than they look, isn't it? Yeah. All right, ready for launch. Hey, hey. Here we go. Whoa. 
So it's hard to film with the reflections, but it's a lovely view from up here. It's really peaceful, really peaceful and relaxing. And we're literally just hovering over our car <laughs> at the boardwalk here. Got no idea where we're going, where we get off, what we do, but I'm enjoying the ride though. It's lovely and peaceful. Yeah. So quiet, fresh air blowing through. I like it, I really do. That was brilliant. Couldn't film much because it was so dark, but that is brilliant. It's a little chilled ride in itself yeah. it was like 20 minutes of just chill taking in the view we actually shut the windows because it was that sort of cold and that much of a breeze coming in we shut the windows that was fun yeah, though I liked that. enjoyed it i think i'd like to do it in the day see a bit more of the views yeah, see a bit more. but it was nice at night time it works really well really so smooth we're gonna head into the boardwalk now we're gonna get laura's bit of uh shopping from the gift shop and then we'll be Chocolate. heading back home yeah. It's about half eight now, so the parks are starting to close up at nine anyway. It'd be nice to get back home, get to bed, and it's going to be a bit less of a theme park yeah. day tomorrow, a bit more. Maybe go to the outlet mall, the shopping and things. So you what we like to buy, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you at the gift shop for now, because it's getting busy. So here we go, we are back, we're getting it. How much is it? 15. 15 plus tax, not bad at all for a mug. Mm -hmm. Normally like 25 or so. And then we've got jewellery over here you wanted, isn't there? Which ones was it? These? Yeah, so, yeah. Treat yourself, you're on holiday. Yeah. How much are they out of interest? 20, 20. 20, 20 each, so 40 for the set. Yeah. They're quite nice as well, aren't they? Yeah, look at them as well. balls on. So, we are all done here today. Um, thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to finish it here because I always keep forgetting to finish <laughs> the vlog. Uh, really good day. Epcot, quite busy. We had a few issues in the morning getting stuck on test track and stuff. Yeah. The day just escapes you, but I definitely recommend having a little break in the middle. That did help us. Yeah. Gave us our second win. We're knackered now, though. Uh, so we're going to be straight home to bed. It's about quarter to nine now. We'll be in bed by half, half nine, ten. Uh, but that means we can get up earlier in the morning. Got to get up early and seize the day. Yeah. Tomorrow, join us. We will be uh, going to the outlet mall. So we're going to do some shopping, some bargain hunting, or just spending a fortune is what we normally do. I was about to say, we haven't had enough money as no. it is. Uh, then we're going to take a bit of a break from Disney. We might head to a Universal Park in the afternoon or the evening. Uh, or max we'll do is like Disney Springs but planning on staying away from the Disney parks tomorrow a little yeah. bit of a break from it now we have absolutely hammered yeah. all four parks already that it's amazing to be able to do yeah. all that so quick oh yes it's, it's, we've done well done really well but yeah, yeah we're gonna have a break from Disney tomorrow do something a little bit different go and do some shopping I didn't bring many socks or boxies because I planned on buying loads here yeah I live in the uh, the Hill boxies figure. Uh, from Under Armour and the Tommy Hilfiger uh, socks. So I didn't barely brought any because we're going to buy loads. Yeah, so. it's a nightmare doing your socks because you've got a mix of old and new and you're trying to pay them yeah. off old and new and it's a nightmare. Now we're going to get rid of them all. I haven't, I haven't had any for Jeez. like two years, so I've got to get loads of them. So join us tomorrow. If you did enjoy the vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments below as well. I do love to know your thoughts and what bits stood out to you and stuff, which bit you enjoyed the most. Did you enjoy some of the ride videos or... The food, the restaurant was fantastic, expensive, but very good, very interesting. Yeah. And yeah, hit the subscribe button. Follow us both on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, stride on. We will see you uh, tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.